Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, an illustrator and animator, and this video is about my trip to San Diego. I've already posted a video about me drawing in Balboa Park, and that's in the middle of San Diego. And if you want to see that video, you can click here on the eye, and when you click on the eye, you go straight to that video. But it is my uh, 30th anniversary, and I'll explain you why. I visited um, San Diego for the first time uh, 30 years ago and I was 18 and I stayed with the family uh, as an exchange student and got to experience uh, the, the real American way of life and I saw some great things like Disneyland, Universal Studio and all of these theme parks and you know how people uh, live in the USA and the most memorable thing I uh, experienced was a visit to Disney animator uh, Ollie Johnston and uh, I got to visit him uh, at his summer home in Julian which is in a mountain near San Diego. But um, I kept contact with the family and each other year I would go to San Diego to visit them and especially with the, the San Diego Comic Con I would visit regularly and um, it's now been eight years since I last visited and each year they have uh, an annual Christmas tree burning party at the beach and I had my first uh, Christmas tree burning party in 1986 so 30 years ago and they save up all the Christmas trees and have a nice bonfire at the beach so they burn uh, the trees, which has great fire, of course, because they're very dry. And they also have a lovely uh, a barbecue with hot dogs, hamburgers, and of course, s'mores. And I concocted up a plan to surprise my American uh, parents. So I flew in one day before the, the Christmas tree burning party and uh, this is some footage of me surprising my uh, dad. Oh my <laughs> god! Hi. What are you doing here? And surprising my mother. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> oh my god, in heaven! What the heck? Where did you come from? Where did you my American mother. Because that they're not my real parents but it sure feels like it and I got a chance you know to spend some time in San Diego and I did some sketching and usually I don't uh, sketch that much uh, not on paper and it's always good practice to do some sketching and you can see the the video I did about uh, sketching outside in Balboa Park and in Balboa Park uh, there are some great museums. There is the Timken Museum and I got the chance to see some Dutch masters and that was special because I'm from Holland and uh, it's great to see Dutch artists in San Diego. And I also got the chance to go to the San Diego Art Museum. When I go into museums I don't want to see everything. I just scan all the different rooms and then I decide what I really want to see and uh, sometimes you just uh, are surprised by things you've never seen before and in the museum I saw some great uh, statues by uh, I think it's an American artist Arthur Putnam and he made made some great statues of animals and they're very animated and they're very lifelike so I also sketched some of the statues because that's also great, you know, with statues that, that, that you can walk around the statues and, you know, see things in, in all different angles. So I got to do some sketching of that and um, great thing about Balboa Park is that it also houses the San Diego Zoo. and that, 
each time when I visit San Diego, I go to the zoo to, you know, uh, sketch uh, some animals. And I also had uh, this book with me and I sketched with um, a graphite pencil. And here are just some of the drawings. And the first thing I drew was a, a tiger and he was sitting behind the glass. And what I do is, um, I just started out and I made some mistakes here because when you draw um, the animals just move around so you have to be very quick and I started out too detailed so then you lose the um, general shape of, of uh, an animal or uh, what you can do is or draw the the body and the body movement of a character or uh, pay attention to detail so just draw the eye or the fur or uh, the way he holds a paw or something and i started uh, drawing the the gario as well because that's a, a funny story i made uh, my first animation of like so and the first one was about the gario and i used uh, reference material uh, like pictures but now i got the chance to see the garials in real life and the cool thing about uh, this setup was is that you could see them underwater and above water so i did some sketches of the garials and they're like crocodiles but they have a very pointy nose they also have a lot of uh, giraffes and the fun thing about uh, these giraffes was that there were three babies and when you uh, draw animals in real life you know you first need to uh, concentrate on on details otherwise you because they keep keep on moving so I also shot some footage as reference, but I also tried to sketch them. So I uh, sketched a lot of different images of, um, of giraffes and I also paid attention to the details. So um, how the, the mouth uh, works or, you know, um, how a face of a, a giraffe works from front from the side and here's just the the little baby and what was quite interesting to see is that the signs on the body when they're very small they're still um, very dense and when they get bigger uh, probably the signs will uh, get bigger as well and they have uh, very fluffy uh, horns and when they're uh, really really young it's still very fluffy so i did some of these sketches and just just some details and here i just do the the pose because they move around so you have to uh, sketch very fast and i really got the hang of it and uh, i used a, a graphite pencil for this so great thing about the graphite is is that you can uh, use the side uh, and then just sketching the big shapes and they also have a, a giant panda and uh, got a chance to do some sketching of that but it was very busy so um, in the beginning it's a bit awkward you know to draw outside but you know you just have to pay attention to what you're drawing and not about the surroundings and people who are going to watch you draw here I just use the, the side of the, the pencil and I will get it, I have it somewhere. I switched to this one, which is a Kohinoor Progresso Aquarel 8912. And the nice thing about this one is that you can also use it as an aqua pencil. So maybe you can see it here, I'm not sure. And I just sketched like this so you could you know sketch out bigger parts so when you sketch like this you now I can show it here 
you just have to be very global and you cannot pay attention to details that much. And it was very interesting to see um, the panda move around because I thought the black part would be much bigger, but it's very small. Because the, the other side, which is, you know, looks a bit like a, a pamper, <laughs> and which makes the um, panda so cute, is, you know, his big bottom. But it's just when you would paint uh, a panda black, it wouldn't be that cute. So in this way, I, you know, sketched all these uh, uh, pandas. And after the pandas, I went to uh, the flamingos, and the flamingos are in front of uh, the San Diego Zoo. When you go into the entrance, you can see them straight away. And um, when you walk through uh, the park, you also have a chance to see them more up close because they also have flamingos in another part of the zoo. And here I just really uh, sketched it very quickly, you know, just to do the uh, uh, basic shapes of, of the animals and, you know, and pay more attention to the pose and to the neck and um, also the, the values, which, you know, then they'll pop out more. So, um, there were also some other birds and I don't know which birds these are and I also shot some reference material so if you know uh, what kind of bird this is please let me know in the comments down below and here I just you know sketched some details of uh, the face of a flamingo and you know sometimes I just paid attention to you know the pose so here's some more uh, sketches and after that I got a chance to to go to La Jolla we had a lovely dinner there and uh, they have pelicans there and uh, I just walked around the beach and they also have uh, seals uh, in the bottom and they just sit around and uh, there are also a lot of pelicans so I did some quick sketches there and here I used um, a pen or a, a, I think it's a brush and I just keep on you know doing their feathers when they're sit sitting around and well, here I made some sketches of the rocks but very fast and here uh, is a, a sea lion or a seal and here are some more uh, illustrations of uh, the pelicans. But I also shot a lot of uh, uh, videos and, and, and pictures, so it's great to have these uh, notes because uh, sketches are a, a little bit like uh, notes to um, capture uh, ideas. And when you see animals in real life, you know, you can see how uh, the construction of a head or their bodies work and as an animator that's very valuable uh, information so when you draw a character or have to animate uh, an animal it's you know great to know what happens you know with the face and even with giraffes i could see their faces move around and then you can see how the construction of an animal works I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. In that way you won't miss a single video. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!